Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 128 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 128 is a song of praise and blessing that finds its home in the heart of the Book of Psalms, a poetic and spiritual collection that has captivated and inspired people for millennia. This particular psalm, with its six stanzas, weaves a tapestry of vivid images and divine promises, offering profound insight into the fruits of godly living and reverence for God. Its opening with the expression, blessed, immediately establishes a tone of joy and happiness. This word resonates throughout the psalm, echoing the promise of divine blessings for those who fear the Lord and follow His paths diligently. It is a greeting that echoes an ancient wisdom tradition, emphasizing not only material prosperity, but also the spiritual wealth that is achieved by those who live in alignment with divine will. The psalm then unfolds into a series of evocative images, each painting a scene of abundance and harmony. From the image of the fruitful vine that adorns the believer's home to the vision of children as olive shoots around the table, Psalm 128 portrays a vision of fullness and fertility. These images carry with them a deep cultural and spiritual resonance, reflecting not only material prosperity, but also the blessing of family continuity and the fecundity of life. Furthermore, the psalm not only describes present blessings, but also looks to the future with hope and expectation. The reference to the blessing of Zion and the vision of Jerusalem's prosperity points to a broader vision of the community and spiritual heritage that is shared among God's people. And the ultimate desire for peace upon Israel carries with it an aspiration for harmony and well-being that goes beyond individual and family borders, embracing the entire nation and, by extension, all of humanity. In its entirety, Psalm 128 is an invitation to reflection and gratitude, a celebration of God's goodness and faithfulness to those who seek Him. It is an expression of trust in divine providence and the promise of blessing to those who choose to follow the ways of the Lord. Over the centuries, this psalm has served as a source of comfort and inspiration for people of all cultures and traditions, reminding us of the importance of living in reverence and obedience to our Creator. Psalm 128 is a song of praise and blessing deeply rooted in the Judeo-Christian spiritual tradition. Within the vast poetic compendium of Psalms, this psalm stands out as an ode to God's mercy and faithfulness towards those who choose to fear Him and follow His precepts. Composed of six carefully crafted stanzas, Psalm 128 reveals a wealth of images and promises that echo through the centuries, touching the hearts of those who seek to live a life of integrity and devotion. The opening phrase, blessed, sets a tone of joy and gratitude, inviting the listener to contemplate the rich blessings in store for those who walk the paths of justice and righteousness. This greeting resonates throughout the composition, echoing the promise of a deep and lasting happiness that transcends earthly circumstances. It is a call to those who hear to consider not only the tangible fruits of obedience to God, but also the spiritual riches that accompany a life in harmony with His will. As the psalm progresses, it unfolds a series of evocative images, each painting a picture of abundance and fertility. From the fruitful vine that adorns the believer's home to the children who are likened to olive shoots around the table, we are transported to a world of wholeness and harmony. These images not only evoke material prosperity, but also suggest the blessing of family continuity and the fruitfulness of spiritual life. Furthermore, the psalm looks to the future with hope and expectation, 
pointing to a broader vision of community and the shared spiritual heritage among God's people. The reference to the blessing of Zion and the prosperity of Jerusalem broadens the horizon of the song, connecting individual blessings to the collective promises of the divine covenant. And the ultimate desire for peace upon Israel expresses an aspiration for harmony and well-being that transcends individual boundaries and embraces the entire community. In short, Psalm 128 is an expression of trust in divine providence and the promise of blessing to those who choose to follow the ways of the Lord. Over the centuries, this song has served as a source of comfort and inspiration for people of all cultures and traditions, reminding us of the importance of living in reverence and obedience to our Creator. Now we will meditate on Psalm 128, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to Him. You will eat the fruit of your labor, Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. I now enter your presence once again, Lord, to ask you for strength so that I can overcome all difficulties, all problems. Lord, I know it's not easy, but I know you are with us. So, through this prayer, I come to ask once again that you give us strength to overcome everything that comes from the enemy so that we can resist trials and problems. I know that your daughter, your son, goes through so much struggle, Lord, that she even thinks about giving up on life. But I know that you give us strength, Lord, just as you gave strength to Elijah in that desert. You sent an angel to lift him up with water and bread, so that he would not give up on your promises. So, Lord, make sure we don't give up on the promise that you have for us. Give us strength, O Father to face each day with courage and faith, knowing that you are with us at all times. May your light illuminate our path and guide us through the shadows of doubt and fear. May your love surround us and sustain us, strengthening us on our journey. Give us, Lord, the perseverance to move forward, even when everything seems difficult. May we fully trust in you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength. Lord our God and beloved Father, once again I enter your presence to intercede for the lives of each person subscribed to this channel. You know everyone's hearts, Lord, and you know the anguish and bitterness that many face. Whether due to debts to be paid, loss of loved ones, addictions, illnesses, or any other trials, I ask you, Lord, to enter the lives of these people with your purifying light. May your presence dispel the darkness that plagues them, bringing comfort and peace. For those who cannot sleep at night, may your hand calm them and grant them the rest they need. Bless each one of them, Lord, because even though I don't know their struggles, you are knowledgeable about all things. Strengthen them, Father, as it is written in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Help them to rise up, to find hope and comfort in your word. May they feel your presence guiding them in the midst of adversity, and may they experience your restorative love. Amen. Lord, I come to you in search of help for these people who are here. I ask you, Father, not to allow them to lack anything. Take care of the table of your sons and daughters, O oh, Father, hallelujah. May your name be glorified and sanctified. Take their lives in your hands, Lord. Hug each one of them and cover them with your mantle of love. Lord, heal all the wounds, ease the tightness in the heart, the weight on the back when waking up in the morning. Free them from all evil, 
from every attack from the adversary. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I rebuke the evil one and bless your sons and daughters. Open a door of employment for those who are unemployed, cure them of every disease. Visit them with your angels and protect them from all evil. Deliver them from their afflictions. For I know that you are holy and that it is not easy to live in this world. But with your strength, Lord, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Lord, I beg you to place your angels in the home of each of these who are here to protect them and their families. I ask you, Lord, to free those who are trapped in the addiction of drinking and drugs to lead them away from all evil. Embrace your sons and daughters, Lord, and remove all insomnia, weakness, and sadness from their lives. May those who find themselves downcast within their homes be comforted by your presence. Free them from depression and anguish, Lord. May they feel your transforming love in their hearts. For those who feel unable to leave the house due to depression, set them free, Lord. Visit them and sow your love in their hearts. May they find strength and courage in you to face each day. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. In the conclusion of Psalm 128, we find not just a conclusion, but a final exhortation that echoes through the centuries, inviting listeners to contemplate the depths of divine faithfulness and embrace the eternal promises of the Creator. With the blessing of peace upon Israel, the psalm transcends individual and family boundaries, pointing to a vision of harmony and well-being that embraces all humanity. It is a powerful reminder that the pursuit of godliness is not only a personal journey, but also a calling to contribute to the peace and prosperity of the world around us. Over the centuries, this psalm has been a source of comfort and hope for the faithful, reminding them that God is faithful to fulfill His promises and that those who sincerely seek Him will be richly rewarded. The image of the fruitful vine and the children as olive shoots resonates not only as a description of individual blessing, but as a reminder of the vital role each person plays in perpetuating faith and tradition. So, as we close this beautiful song of blessing and gratitude, we are invited to reflect on the many ways we can live a life that honors God and contributes to the well-being of those around us. May each word of Psalm 128 resonate in our hearts, inspiring us to seek justice, to live in harmony with divine will, and to share the blessings we receive with generosity and gratitude. May we rejoice in the presence of the Lord, trusting in His goodness and mercy to sustain us in all of life's circumstances. So may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, be with us now and forever. At the close of this powerful composition of praise and blessing, we are guided beyond the boundaries of our own understanding, invited to delve into the depths of divine faithfulness and embrace the eternal promises of the Creator. With the blessing of peace upon Israel, the psalm transcends the limits of the individual and the family, rising to a vision of harmony and prosperity that embraces all humanity. It is an inspiring reminder that the pursuit of godliness is not a solitary journey, but rather a calling to actively contribute to the peace and prosperity of the world around us. Through the centuries, this psalm has served as a source of comfort and hope for the faithful, reminding them that God is faithful in fulfilling His promises and that those who seek Him with a sincere heart will be abundantly rewarded. The image of the fruitful vine and children as olive shoots resonates not only as a description of individual blessings, 
but also as a reminder of the vital role each individual plays in perpetuating faith and tradition. Therefore, as we conclude this magnificent song of blessing and gratitude, we are moved to reflect on the countless ways in which we can live a life that honors God and contributes to the well-being of the global community. May each verse of Psalm 128 echo in our hearts, inspiring us to seek justice, to live in harmony with the divine will, and to share the blessings we receive with generosity and gratitude. May we rejoice in the presence of the Lord, confident in His goodness and mercy to sustain us in all circumstances of life. So, may the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, be with us now and forever. Amen.